Hello guys and welcome. My name is Caio. And my I'm name is Shrek. <laughs> That's my my colleague Shrek. We work for IATA and today we are going to introduce you guys for some of the auto devices. We are going to talk about the IM508, the IM608 and the Autel Ultra. Okay? So Shrek, please present to you. Hi guys, my name is Shrek. Uh, as Kaya mentioned before, we both work for IATA, uh, and not in a direct way, but we also uh, do represent Auto in here, in, in front of you. What is IATA? IATA is a Spanish-based company uh, that moved uh, to US to, to Florida. Uh, we are representative, we are authorized dealers of Auto tools for both Americas, uh, so uh, North and South, including, of course, Latin and Central America. Uh, the both of you, so me and Kayo, we represent more than half a century of practice in both diagnostics, programming, and key programming businesses. So I can, I can uh, uh, pretty say uh, that we know a lot and, and we've done a lot of things, good things and, and, and not so many good things. But uh, we are here to present to you the auto tools. As Kayo mentioned, uh, we wanted to show the, the other tools that start with a key programming goes uh, for the tools that are both for a key programming and diagnostics and finish of this presentation with the, with the ultra. So the tool that is de or dedicated to advanced diagnostics and, and garages. Uh, what makes us different from anyone else is that we uh, give a full training. We start with a complimentary training that you receive when you buy our tools. So, so whoever buys other tool gets a training. Uh, we show him how to use other tool or the basic feature of the tool. So you don't need to feel afraid when you get your tool, when you unbox it and when you go for a very first time all out to the car. The second uh, thing is the in-depth of support. It means that at the moment we do a full support for the phone and a, and a WhatsApp. In a few weeks, we will also release the application that will allow us to be in a more direct contact with the customers. Uh, our support is open to everyone. So it doesn't matter if you bought the tool of all of us or you bought a tool uh, se uh, secondhand, get back to us and, and we'll do everything to help you out. Uh, of course, uh, we do also a classes at the moment because of the situation or that is in a world. Uh, all of those classes are online, but we do a classes for, for all the users of the auto tools. Uh, so be also the key programming and also advanced, uh, diagnostics and, and, and modules of programming. Now I think that I can go back to Kayo and, and, and let him show what the tools are that all that we've been talking about. Perfect, Shrek. Thank you for for the introduction. So, talking about the devices, I will want to, I want to to start with the IM six hundred eight. Uh, what is the IM six hundred eight? In auto devices, we have two lines of products: the diagnostic ones and the immobilizer ones. All right. When we talk about immobilizers, we talk about key programming on reading and writing keys uh, for spare keys or all key loss situations. When we talk about the, uh, uh, immobilizer key, uh, devices, we talk about IM508 and IM608 Pro. All right. So let's start about the IM608. I have it just here. Okay. That's the device. Let me put this here. And split more the screen. That's it. So over here, we have auto IM608. All right. That's the device. It came with the XP400 Pro. It's the programmer where we, we will do all the key programming stuff related uh, with the brands Fiat, for example, VHG Group. We need to use this, uh, this adapter, okay? And in some more situations. As well, it came with the OBD adapter, all right? It's um, VCI, that's the VCI. We use this to communicate with the car and with our device. As well, it works as a pass-through device. Uh, it has the protocol J2534. 
So we can use the, the OEM software with this PCI, all right? So talking about key programming on the IM608, what we can do, what we cannot do, for example, Let's talk in the main in the main brains we will follow we will have in the uh, in both Americas in America in the United States and in Latin America we will have for example BMWs Mercedes Chevrolet uh, all the GM brands we will have as well uh, the, the Volkswagen the Audi Toyota Kia Hyundai all of those brands we can work on key programming and when we have a key and we when we don't have a key an all key loss situation and we can do it with our autel im 608 it will read out the pin code it will read out the cs it will read out the immobilizer information the emo data which we call it all right on let's talk about bmws so what we can do and what we cannot do on bmw cars on bmw cars we can do from 2000 uh, from 99 2000 when we it starts the ews3 all right and we can do ews3 we can do cas is the insertion key is the key you need to plug in on the car all right we can do cas1 cas2 cas3 cas3 plus cas4 and we can do also the last ones the series f okay it came with the fan model and we can do those keys as well how can we do it? Let me just share my screen with you guys to show how. Kai, I, yes. Kai, I have a question. Uh, someone just wrote a message that he tried to read a pin code on a GMC 2019, and unfortunately, it was unsuccessful. And he need to re and he had to remove the battery to restart the car. Do you know what yeah, about it? it's a normal procedure when we are trying to read some co some pin codes. In some cars, the car can be dead, okay? Just for a few a few minutes, you just need to take out the battery, put again, and the car will restart. It, it happens uh, in Renault, for example. It can happen on VHG Group, on Volkswagen. It, it, can ha it can happen as well. About, you cannot, you could not read the pin. I, I, yeah. I need to, yeah, but I need to see which kind of transponder it have, which kind of immobilizer it have. So, Jesus Medina, and uh, the best way, reach out uh, to us, send us a message, and I try to, to communicate with you, and let's take a look, okay, on what is the problem, basically. Because this car should be done, all right? So I need, to, I need more information to give you a proper answer. So let me just connect to, to my device to show you guys what we can do on BMW cars, all right? Just one second, please. And there we go. Perfect. Sorry, guys, for the delay. OK, let me share my screen one moment. Okay, got it. Okay, here we, we go. So, how, we, how can we work? The first step we need to do is plug in the JVCI, uh, the VCI to the car, all right? And the device will work by Bluetooth. So, by Bluetooth, it will recognize the car. All right, so to make a key, we go for the immobilizer function, is the one on the left, the orange one. All right. Uh, one, moment, uh, one second, please. Let me just put in English. One second, please. Okay, right now, so, sorry. Perfect, let's go to this. In immobilizer function, we will have the, this screen, this interface, all right? Inside this interface, we can try to, to know which car we are working on if we go for VIN, VIN for the VIN recognizing here on our left side. If we go for this function, the device will try to, to read 11 different 
protocols car communication all right 11 if we go for the european brands we go for bmw this these 11 protocols will be much lower it will go for like two two protocols at maximum one or two protocols so the procedure it will be much faster on recognizing the type of the car so inside of the bmw menu there is a, a smart function what what is the smart function when we we when we don't know how to do this car this key for this car this spare key okay the device will read the the vin number we know which car we are we are working on and we'll know which type of immobilizer we should work, all right? And this smart function is that is made for those guys who don't know who don't know how to do it, who just who are just starting on this business, all right? So this is smart function we always said is the best way for those who are starting. Smart selection, so it will read the VIN number, we'll do the when will let us know which car we are working on and the immobilizer type it will give us like four or five steps it will read out the immobilizer information it will ask us to put the new key inside of the xp 400 it will prepare the the remote and it will works at the end all right remember always when we are working on bmw cars we need to use the power stuff the the power <laughs> Shrek, help yeah, the external power. The basically, the power uh, supply. yeah, the external power of supply. Uh, if you, uh, the, that's the very important thing. The, oh, that's I would say that except that the tool that you're using that oh, that's the most important thing when you go into the BMW cars. The voltage in a system has to be at least a 13 volts. Uh, some of you will say, yeah, but the battery, the the, the battery gives like 12.4, 12.5 volts, and and that's the standard uh, of of voltage all that you have in a system. Uh, the BMWs, especially when you do any kind of a programming or reprogramming of the modules, or reading of the modules, or writing into the modules, uh, whenever that the, uh, there would be any spike of the voltage in a system or the amperage, so also for example, or you do something in a BMW and completely accidentally, or you turn the radio on, or you turn the headlights on, the spike in the voltage may basically break of the car and may stop all the processes that are happening. So that's why we recommend and we say that to have a good external power supply, though, that you can plug into the car from the outside and give this a constant of 13 volts uh, of power into the system. So basically a feed of the car with the, uh, with the 13 volts. That's one of the most important things that you have or to know and the things that you have or to have in your garage uh, or in your van or to do this. That's the modern workshop. We need to, there's some devices are uh, must have. We must have the, the, the power supply, external power, power supply. All right, because the software will work. The key programming, we will be able to do it. We we can do the spare key. It will work. The software works uh, 100%. But if we have any problems related to the voltage of the car, we have problems. So we can solve them. All right. If you have any kind of problems when we are doing the keys, our technical support is there, is there for, for those kind of situations. So if you have a problem when you, you do a key programming, just reach out to us and we will help you in the best way possible to do this, to repair this issue, all right? So when we go for the smart selection, it will give us a step-by-step -step procedure on how to do it, all right? The other menu, for example, the system selection, we can use when we don't, when we have more, when we have more experience on how to do the keys, all right? When we need to, for example, we need to, to read out an ISN code from an engine control unit, we need to use this menu, all right? When we are doing some repair on the CAS system, we need to use this, this menu, all right? Some cars need to read the ISN from the transmission. So it's not from the ECU, it's from transmission. Everything, it will be done in this menu we are seeing right now. If we go for the mobilizer, it will give us all the the four uh, systems, immobilizer systems we can work with out of EWS, CAS, 
Cash4 and FEM. All right. If we go for, for example, for EWS immobilizer, on your on our right side down, we have operation operation guide. Inside of the operation guide, it will give us the step by step and on how to do the key. This is very important to know the introdu the, the the procedure. And auto will give us what is the piece we need to take out from the card in order to be able to do this key. Remember, the EWS keys is the only system on auto. Sorry, is the is 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 a is a system we need to take out the EWS to do it. There is no other tool on the market who can do this uh, by OBD. This piece, the EWS tree, we need to take out from car in order to do the transponder or to start the car. Okay, and here we have a uh, picture where is the the EWS on BMW cars, and just going and just here we have for the for the mini cars where it is, all right. So we just go go back. We have <clears throat> what we can do here. So when we have uh, extracted the information, when we read the information, we go for key operation, we go for key learning, and just follow the steps. Right now is asking us the file, the dump file. We just read with the older procedure. We just load here. And prepare the key. That's is the I think is the the second most complicated uh, key programming is the is the those cars are from 2002 2003. The most modern cars are are more easier to do. All right. Track any questions? Are are we are good? So so far no. It's it's all good. Thank you. Okay. So in. Most modern cars, as I said, it will be CAS system. All right, it, the key we need to plug in on the car, the key with keyless systems. Okay, those keys we call it CAS, K, CAS, C A S, CAS one, two, three, three plus, and four. All right, all of those four models we can do by OBD when we have a spare key, uh, um, a working key. All right, if you we want to do a spare key, yes, we can do it by OBD. If we don't have any keys, we can do the all key loss situation for CAS 1, 2, and 3. CAS 3 plus and CAS 4, we need to take out the CAS and follow some steps we will give you on the on our technical support. All right? And talking about the last model, the FEM model, the Series F, all right? It, it needs to take out a model. I will just show you guys. We go for operation operating guide and just go down. And here we have what is a FEM model, where it is on BMW and on mini cars. All right. And on FEM, we have the procedure, the smart procedure. It will give us the step by step we need to follow in order to do this key. All right. Keep that in mind. In BMW cars, in Mercedes cars, in VHG, in almost all brands, we have the smart selection. Just press the smart selection and follow the steps we have on screen. All right. It's the best way to do it. If we don't know how to do it and we don't have the smart selection, reach out to us by the technical support and we give you all the, the information you need to know. Basically, uh, ba basically, what we are trying to, to, to say and what we are trying to show is that although, of course, as I mentioned at the very beginning, uh, whoever buys our uh, or the auto tools from us get the or get the class uh, or get the uh, further training how to use or how to operate and and how to work uh, with the tool. Uh, still inside of the tool, so there is always the hands-on and step-by-step -step manual that will try to guide you through uh, showing every step. Of course, if you got stuck and, and if you feel that you need uh, some kind of a help, uh, like don't hesitate to reach out to us and we'll guide you through. Perfect. And uh, let's talk about uh, a little bit about Mercedes cars, all right? What we can do on Mercedes uh, related to key programming, no? 
all right? We can do all, uh, key programming and all key loss situations, both situations. When we don't have a key, it's one, one procedure, and when, when we have a key, it's another pr procedure completely different. On when we have a key from those Mercedes uh, from 2004 and higher, 2004 to 2014, when we have a spare key, uh, when we have a key, we can do a spare key by OBD, all right? For the cars 2004 and older than 2004, and uh, maybe in some situations we need to take out a piece from the car. This piece, okay? That's the electronic lock on Mercedes, all right? And do a step-by-step -step, uh, with auto. Auto will give us the step-by-step, -step, all right? But the most cars we have right now on the market are 2004 and higher. So if we have a key, we can do it by OVD, no problems at all. The most uh, uh, older, in some cases, like the 97 cars, 98, 99, we need to take out the, a piece from the car and work on this piece, all right? Keep that in mind. And for most modern cars, 2014 and to 2020, is a FBS4 system, it's the modern system, and there, there's no way to do the, the spare key outside of the, the brand, outside of the dealer. So we need to order the key to, to this car, all right? We can do the FBS3 system keys. All the keys, all key loss situations, or spare key, we can do it with auto. And we have the smart selection menu. Just press it, it will guide you through the all, all the steps we, you need to do, all right? And let's talk about a little bit about the, his younger sister from 608, is the 508. All right, the 508 will have all this, the functions on immobilizers, okay? It will be the same uh, software from the IEM 608 we will have on the 508, okay? Uh, of course, the price is not the same. It is almost the half of the price, the IEM 508. Uh, and the, the diagnostic software is not the same as the, as the 608. The 608 have a very advanced diagnostic functions. We can do codings. We can do, for example, reset maintenance for the less car, for the most modern cars. We can do a lot of adaptations. We can do many, many things with the diagnostic functions from Auto. Let's just open uh, the menu, the functions. All right. Go for European brands. And I have a BMW here outside. I will just plug in the device and show you guys the menu inside. Okay, just give me one minute. Sure. Yeah, hi guys. Okay, so it's bagger to me. Uh, basically, what I wanted to uh, to tell you is, is as you know, uh, we have a Black, a Black Friday and a Cyber Monday are coming in. So of course we prepared uh, some specials for ever uh, for anyone who would be interested in in buying any of the auto tools when it comes to key programming i think that the biggest uh that the biggest thing that we've done is whoever buys the im608 uh in a special price so that we have only for those uh, a few days and the price is 29 or 99 so whoever buys the im608 for 29 or 99 gets free of charge a set of accessories and those accessories are imkpa uh, the G Box 2 and uh, APB 112. Uh, later on, I will post uh, the information about those uh, those uh, special deals uh, in a comments uh, in a comment section of of this live. But uh, as I said, uh, we are preparing at the moment of some very nice gifts and some very nice giveaways to anyone who will uh, buy any of the auto tools uh, during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. Kyle, back to you. Thank you, Shrek. So I'm connected right now to a BMW 2016, and let's see what functions we have on diagnostic side. All right, let's go for European brand, BMW, accept. Let me take this out. I think there is something on the screen. Yeah, here. Okay, so we have 
the two functions, automatic selection and manual selection. Just go for automatic selection and read. It will read out the V number from the car and it will tell us which car we are working on. All right, so here we have the VIN, the VIN number. Here we have the car and year. And it will read out all the units from, from the car to know which units we can enter, basically. So let's just wait until 100%. And here we go. Just remember this screen right now, guys, because after this, I will show you how to do the diagnostic with the ultra device. All right. So here we, we have we have diagnosis functions, we have service functions, hot functions, coding, and vehicle profile. So let's go for, for a basic diagnosis. Both functions. Counter unit, if we want to enter directly to the unit we need to, to read, or auto scan. Just Let's go for the auto scan. It will recognize all the models, all the units on the car, and will tell us if we have any DTCs um, or not. As we can see, we already have one DTC there. Here we have one DTC on the gateway. So let's take a look what we have here. Uh, here we have the, the menu. Okay, here we can go for the echo information to, to know what is the part number, all right? So here we can go for the read DTCs. And inside of read codes, we can read the DTCs. So here we have some fault related to the gateway, all right? If we press here on the snowflake button, we have... Uh, some information when it occurs, when it happens, all right? It happens with the car was to with two two hundred thousand kilometers. So it happens like twenty thousand kilometers ago. Yep. Okay. So this information is related when it occurs, when it happens. This DTC, all right? What what more we have? We have the service manual. When auto uh, discover how to, to try to repair, they put this information here. What you should do and what is happening related to this DTC on manual services. Or, sorry, and manual and service manual. All right. Just press it, service manual. And here you have some information related to this DTC. All right. If we go escape and let's go to the ECU and let's see some live data. If we go to DTC, let's go for ECU information. And here we will have the part number for this ECU. All right. When we need to order some new pieces, some new ECU, we, we can got these numbers and just buy a new one. All right. Read codes and erase codes for reading the DTCs and cleaning the DTCs. All right. Let's go for live, live data, diagnosis request. And here we have some information from the sensors on the ECU. All right, let's take, for example, the voltage, the temperature, and what more can I take here just to show you? Here, the fuel tank level. The fuel, the fuel temperature, and some more just to, to show you. All right, so I just select some sensors. They are inside of this big list. If we, we want to put those sensors higher, upper, here on the top of the device, we just press to top, and here we have all the sensors we selected are all here, all right? So we can, in this way, it will be much easier to follow up some, some problems, some issues on the car, all right? And we can change the visual. We can change the design of this, of this reading, as you guys can see. There's a lot of information, and we can use this to improve our diagnostic on the car, all right? We use a lot this one on the right side, upper, here 
So in that way, if we have a, 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 um, a power loss, for example, it will show clearly when it occurs. So it will have help us a lot. All right. Can just go back. And in active tests, we can do, for example, we, we can active uh, some components from the car to test it, basically. For, for example, we can active the electric, electric fan and it will run on the car. Remember, guys, these functions we are seeing right now, Auto uh, have developed the same functions we have on the OEM software, okay, the, the device from the dealer, from, from BMW. So all the functions we are seeing, Auto have studied the OEM software and have implemented here on, his, on our devices, all right? And how we do a maintenance reset when we do the oil change from the car? On BMW cars and with auto devices, we need, we need to go for service functions, as, we, as you guys can see on screen. This function is service, we just press it. And inside of this function, we can, sh we can see the maintenance and pre-delivery check. Here we can do the maintenance of this car. Right now, just press it and follow the steps. We are uh, out there. We'll give you, and the maintenance will be done. Take this in, in mind, because some devices you need to go by diagnosis, need to go for the ECU, and inside of the ECU you will have all the functions. No, here on Auto we need to go by service, and inside of the service are the functions. All right, yeah. keep that in mind. And another thing, when we have any model with problems, for example, we have. An issue with the FRM, the lights model on BMWs, or for example, the E90. If we have an issue and we don't have communication with this model, we can just buy a second, a second hand one, all right? And with the coding function, it will read the VIN number from the car. It will go online to the auto server for BMW. It will take the, the, the correct file from the server and we we'll write on the model, on the FRM model from the uh, from second hand. And this model will be working on your car, all right? This function is the coding function. We can do it with our IM608, all right? Okay, so that is a, 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 diag a basic diagnosis, guys. Diagnosis, guys, mm, we can do a lot more stuff with, BM with auto devices, all right? That was the IM608, so we can do key programming on many, many brands, like 80 brands, all right? Uh, European brands, Asia brands, uh, USA brands, uh, and, Lat and La Latin Amer America brands, all right? For, this, for example, let, let's talk about, uh, uh, we have Peugeot, right, uh, Shrek? So yeah, no, we don't have it. We don't have a Peugeot in a in a US. There is no no, no no sir. Okay, no problem. So uh, that's it. All right. For uh, for Ford, for example, we can do the most old ones. We can do with our device, with auto, the key programming until 2019, 2020. Depends on the car. We can do those cars. Okay. Uh, all key loss situation or spare key we can do both cases on ford gm chevrolet all the the group on fca group uh, on jeep fiat chrysler all right audi volkswagen mercedes bmw all those cars we can do with auto so uh, his little brother is the im 508 we have all the functions we've seen in immobilizer part but the diagnosis is very very poor it's very basic, not poor, it's basic, because we can just read and, and clear the disease with the IM508. It's a device made for the locksmith guys, okay? It's not made for the, for the uh, workshop uh, professionals. The IM608, we can, the professional from the workshop can work with this device in, and it will do a lot of jobs. And if they, if we have some problems with, with the immobilizer, you can do a key as well. The IM508 is just for the locksmith guys who wants to do key programming. All right. 
Trek, I'm forgetting something. All good? No, so far you're you're on a track. Perfect. So let's talk about now. We we talk about the immobilizer line of auto. Let's talk about the diagnostic line of auto. The less and more advanced device in diagnostic in auto is the auto ultra. Let me put on the screen so we can see bigger here. Here we have the auto ultra. As you guys can see, it's a pretty big uh, tablet. All right. Here we have the IM608. As you guys can see, it has a lot of difference on the size. All right. The Auto Ultra is just for diagnostic. It don't have the functions from immobilizers. All right. Just the functions who came with the original device, with the OEM device. All right. The advanced function for key programming, we don't have here. All right. Just with the IM line, the IM608 and IM508. Right. Here, we just have the, all the functions from diagnosis, diagnostics. All right. What we can do and what we cannot do with our um, Ultra. Ultra came with this big VCI. All right. With this VCI, we can connect to the car and we can work with an, as, as an oscilloscope, multimeter, waveform generator, all right? All these functions, we can work with this, with this VCI, all right? Here, you guys can see all the four ports of the oscilloscope, all right? It came with a lot of uh, um, cables, to use as a as an oscilloscope, as a multimeter, and as a waveform generator. And when we are doing a, a, a diagnostic to the car, when we plug in, all right, we just go for the. Let me just show it. Let me disconnect from the 608 and connect to the ultra. One second, please. Let's connect it. And it will be done. Can you see Shrek, the screen? It's OK? Mm, uh, are you sharing the screen at the moment of the Ultra? No, I don't see it. No, I will do it now. And now we can see? Yes, sir. OK. Here we have the main screen of the Ultra. All right. The big difference in Ultra is when we need to do uh, an advanced diagnostic and we need some help, all right? And we don't know how to do it. If Auto have uh, developed a manual, a manual, it will give us on the intelligent diagnostic. We will have this function, all right? Another uh, pretty amazing stuff is this one. We go for measurements and here we can see oscilloscope, the multimeter, the waveform generator, generator, and the bus inspection. When we, we go, for example, for oscilloscope, I don't have it uh, connected right now. It's just to show you guys how, we, how it, 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 will, it will work. Here we have the oscilloscope open. But what is the difference from, from the others, right, with our device? Here, here, down here we have this. Can you guys see? Uh, here, with the down here. If we press here, we can split the screen, open the diagnostic software, and read the DTCs on the right side and on the left side. We can follow with follow the, the diagnosis with the uh, multimeter with the oscilloscope. So we can see real values and we can check if those real values uh, are, are, are there on the oscilloscope, on the waves, on the, on the signal, all right? So it's, it's, it's a must have for all the tools. I've seen, 
I ever seen this function in another tool. We can split the screen and make the diagnosis on the right side and follow up the, the oscilloscope on another one. Let me just connect to the card track. Give me one. Not a problem. Okay, guys. So, as I said before, uh, we are, and as Kayo mentioned, at the moment we are uh, presenting the three different tools uh, that range the entire, uh, that show the entire, not the entire, but the other spectrum of the tools that are offered by Auto. It starts with the Ion 508, so a tool that is dedicated mainly to to key locksmiths or to key programmers of the mobile locksmiths. Then it's IM608, so the tool that is dedicated to people that do program a key. But they also do know that sometimes when you go into the car, you have to be able to do the di uh, diagnostics. And it allows you to do also the PDF file. So if you go to the car, uh, if you go to someone who bought the car after the collision or from the junkyard and they wanted to bring the car back and they have no or no keys, so the best is or to do the or to check for all the fault codes of printout of the report, uh, show it to the customer, program the key in, and sometimes although you did program the key or the key in, and from your point of view everything makes sense. So, so the car should start. You still are unable to start of the car. Uh, you can do the PDF, or so you can read the fault code after the key programming, and you can show what, uh, to the customer what is going on with the car, and the information is, I did my job, my job is okay, now you have to go to someone who will help, help you out with the rest of the car. Perfect, Rex. Kaya? So here we are, connected to the car. As you can see, the device automatic recognized the car when I plug in the, the OBD and said the V number is here and it's a BMW. Sure, let's go. And we are doing the diagnosis, the, the diagnosis on the right side and with the oscilloscope open on the left side. Just press OK. Yes, it's a BMW 116. Now it will automatic turn off the ignition. Let's just wait. It will turn on again. And here we have the big difference on the on the devices. All right, between the 608 and the Auto Ultra, it will create for us something that we just see on the OEM software. Let's just wait. <clears throat> Here we have the topology of this car. All the units, since it, it, it goes from the OBD through all the car, all the models connected. And as you guys can see, down below each model, we have colors connecting all of them, right? Each color are related to one type of protocol. As we can see down below, we have PTCAN, FlexRay, and KeyCAN 2. So we know how the, the models communicate with each other, with what kind of information they, they are transmitting between each model, all right? Let's go for a fault scan. It will read out all the models from the car. If we don't have any problems, it will pop up in, in green. And if we have problems, like we have here on the gateway, all right, we just press press on the on the arrow, just go for trouble codes. It will read what is the code. All right. We have the intelligent diagnostics on the on our and that's the difference between the devices all right here on this on this screen on our left side we have the oem technical service bulletin related to this dtc we just press it it will download from our data database and here we have the original oem bulletin to this related to this dtc all right 
On our right side, we have the repair assist. If we press here, it will guide us through this, this, uh, this issue, this DTC. It will tell us what we should try in order to repair this, this, this issue, this DTC. All right? We should just uh, follow all the steps we have on the screen. And at the end, it will ask us some questions. Is the car working right now? Is the sensor from oxygen working? Did you turn your wheel to the left and to the right? Well, it will give us some, some steps to do. It will ask us some questions in order to try to, to step the car. If you answer one to, to repair the car, if you answer uh, something, they will see your answer and will give you one solution. If you answer uh, another thing, it will follow the, it will give you another possible solution. All right. And that's the big difference. Uh, from both yeah. devices on diagnostic side, side, all right. And as I talk, um, as I talk, when I was talking about the AM six hundred eight, we can do coding with the six hundred eight. When we talk about the ultra, we can do coding online with the auto server on BMW and Mercedes, but we can do as well programming. What is programming? When we have a new model, all right. This new model from BMW or from, from Mercedes, the ABS, for example, we can just buy this model with the programming software and the Autel server. We can download the software for this ABS and just program it. When once it's programmed, we can code with the correct information from this car. So that's that's as well as the difference between Autel IM608 and the Ultra. The 608 can do coding online, but cannot do the programming and ultra can do programming and coding online but don't have the keys and have the on on our jvci we have as well the pass through uh, protocol so we can use this as a pass through uh, jvci as well for the oem softwares and brands so there's a question for from balint i'm planning to buy the am608 can i program user control models on Volkswagen Audi brands, for example. Yes, sir. Yes, we can do it, but we will depend a lot on the type of the car. All right. Some cars we can just uh, copy and paste the coding, and some cars we need to do an online programming with the OD software. All right. It will depend a lot on the type of the car. But yes, you can do it. All right. You can, for example, you, you can exchange the dashboard from a Golf 6 or or a Golf 7, you can exchange an ECU, depends on the, on the type of the, the Volkswagen as well. It, it have a step-by-step -step procedure for the exchange of the uh, Now he's asking about the CASI module on the Audi A8. That's uh, an artistic job, <laughs> a manual job that you need to read out and you need to know how to do it on the software, all right, on the, on the dump file, I'm sorry. We have some software on the auto, but the main job is done by yourself. It's not done by the device. All right. Just reach us and yeah. uh, I think just reach us, uh, Balint, and we try to help you. All right. Because it's a very special job. Okay, Shrek, I'm forgetting something. No, sir. All right, we talk about the FCA group. So the most modern cars, as you guys, just one second, please. So Balin, if you uh, if you need some help, just the best would be to go through our Facebook page or just send us a message. We'll get back to you and we'll try to help you out with the with the thing that you have on it all to do. So let's just split here the screen. Nope, this one. Okay, so here we have both devices, both devices. So as I was talking about, that was a presentation, guys, on our Ultra device, on our IM608. We talk about the IM508 as well for the locksmith guys. The IM608 can be used for the locksmith and the workshop guys, and the Ultra uh, is is made are made uh, is made for the workshop guys. All right, 
This device is very powerful for those who want to do a very precise diagnosis. This device is very good for diagnosis and very, very good for key programming, all right? Because it came with the XP400 and the XP400 will give you a lot of uh, possible uh, jobs to do, all right? A part of that, we, for those who want the device to do a key programming for locksmith guys, there is some adapters we need to have as well. For example, this adapter is the G-Box, G-Box 2. What it does, uh, we need to do, we need this adapter, for example, to do an all key loss situation for a BMW car, for an E92, for, with a CAS3 plus system, without any keys, we need to read out, to take out the ECU from the car, all right? Follow the instructions out there will give us to do the, the, the pin out, okay? To connect the ECU on bench and read out the information. And for that procedure, we need to have the G-Box too. Without the G-Box, it's not possible to do a, an all key loss situation for BMW cars, as well for Mercedes, okay? It's, it's, it's a must have. We need to have this to do all the keys possible with auto. A part of that, for the Toyota, Toyota cars, all right, we have the APB 112. What you do, what we can do with this, with this little adapter, with this little piece, all right, we have, for example, for example, a, a Toyota Corolla from 2010 with a smart key, proximity key, an all key loss situation. Since like four or five years ago, we uh, until Alta released it, we should take out all the dashboard of the car, all the dashboard out and down on the dashboard below the uh, below your uh, upper on your feet. We have the immobilizer box, so we need to take out the immobilizer box, read the memory inside of the immobilizer box, prepare a transponder. Put everything again on his uh, on the car, and then program a new key. But with this little guy, with this little device, we can do we can do this by OBD. Just read it by OBD. The EEPROM from the immobilizer model. Prepare this device. This is a, 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 a like a transponder. It will prepare a master key, and we will be able to start the car. In that way, in some minutes, in like five minutes, we will be able to do the, this procedure. So we are gaining a lot of time because in the older times, we need to do this in like two, three, six hours. Okay. So that's the APB 112 for Toyota cars and some Renaults. You have a Renault? We have Renault? No. Not that much, right? No. Okay. And... And the IMKPA. The IMKPA. Is this bag? All right. With this bag, what we have inside is for those guys who want to to give a little, I st one step more, right? For example, for those old cars from BMW, the E46, we need to have a special adapter. All right. Without this special adapter. We cannot do the key because we need to take out the the EWS from the car and just read it. And we need a special adapter. And it came with this package, the IMKPA. We need to have it. All right. As we can see, it's just a lot of adapters for a lot of different jobs. For example, here we have the adapter to use to read an ELV from a mercedes 204 all right we need to take out and do a and do a job on the elv we can do with this adapter we can do okay. a so for those that 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 are just starting their adventure with a key program the elv is 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 also the esl so so basically oh, that's a that's oh, a lot yeah sorry that uh, that's a log or that blocks the or the steering wheel. Uh, as as when you go into Mercedes, the key uh -huh. programming, or usually, or you have a two acronyms. Or the one is EIS, so that's a or that's a ignition switch. 
So, uh, and, and the second one is an ESL, or that's a steering lock. Uh, so, uh, because probably not too many of you might know, but on a, on a Mercedes, so there are three things that goes into the immobilizer set, or that's a key, that, or that's a steering lock, and, and that's also all the ignition switch. Sorry, Kai, back to you. Perfect, Perfect bro. Thank you. <laughs> so, there's a very common problem on problem on the on those steering locks, all right? For for, for the Mercedes 204, the steering lock just broke. It's it's the the, the little engine inside. It just broke. Need to be replaced. And in some cases, we need to read the memory from the PCB, and we need to use the adapter from the IM KPA, all right? All this procedure we, we can do with the outer device with the IM 608, all right? And we can do a reading from the MCU of the um, of a Mercedes keys. We have a lot of adapters here for those guys who who wants to work with immobilizer systems. All right, the IM KPA is very important to have. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for watching us. But for uh, so once again, we just had done a short presentation of a, of of a of just uh, two tools, so basically of just uh, two tools from the entire range of the auto. Uh, the one is IM608, going back, the one is IM608, or that does a key programming and, 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 di and diagnostics. And the second one is a Ultra, that does the very advanced uh, level of diagnostics, but, uh, but also the module of uh, programming. For those of you that look at those tools and are thinking, would I be able to use them? Yes, you would be able to to use them. But the first thing is, as Kaya had shown, uh, there is a lot of hands-on uh, manuals and step-by-step -step manuals inside of the tools. So the second thing is that we give a complimentary or training uh, to everyone who buys the tool of, or from us. So also if you buy of the tool, even or sometimes even before you receive the tool, we already give you a training so you feel sure and you are and, and, and you can feel sure that when you get all the tool, you can take it out of the box and go into the car. And lastly, but not least, uh, of course, we have do have the in-depth and very advanced online classes for both uh, key programming and diagnostics. And if you got stuck, anyways, if you got stuck, you can always get back to us. And get more information and a and a full and a full support. As I mentioned at the very beginning, we are in, we are re re releasing a new application very soon that will allow us to stay in a more direct way with uh, with the users of the tools. Perfect, Shrek. So, just an example for those guys who wants a little more, who wants to do, to go a more advanced. Here, Altel have all the schematics. On how to read, uh, for example, a CAS 3 4, a CAS 3 Plus from BMW. That's how to do it on each cable in we need to use by colors. So it's it's handful, it's, it's easy to use. All right. It's just what Shrek told you guys right now. So thank you for, for being here with us today. I hope we see each other in the future. In the next videos and bye bye guys bye shrek thank you thank you guys yeah thank you guys we'll take care bye bye bye